This biological mouth jewelry you may know as a cold sore, but it's actually herpes. This virus comes in two forms, herpes simplex virus 1, which is generally confined to the mouth, nose, eye area, and herpes simplex virus 2, which is normally a little bit lower, the genital variety. Both varieties of HSV generally infect the soft pink tissues, think the inside of your lip and other places, but it doesn't stay there because that's not very good real estate. It wants a prime location, and that's more like your nervous system. HSV-1, for instance, prefers the trigeminal ganglion. The reason your nervous system makes such a good home is that it actually offers protection from your immune system. To recap, they infect down here, get access to the nerve, and then they schmooze their way retrograde up into the ganglion, where they basically become little squatters. Once the herpes virus is in there, it can actually go dormant or latent. Basically, the virus hangs up its hat, turns on Sports Center, and waits for your immune system to be occupied with something else. Now you're out there living your best life, and you happen to encounter the flu or a cold virus. Those infections are going to be a more eminent threat, and your immune system is going to become distracted fighting them off. This causes the virus to come out of its dormancy and reinfect your face. Periods of high stress or immunosuppressants like prednisone can also provide this immune distraction. And then bang zoom, you're sporting a viral face modification again. HSV 1 and 2 have no cure. Once you have them, they will live in your nerves rent free. And if that wasn't scary enough, the oral kind can live down there and the down there kind can actually live in your face. And these versions of herpes aren't rare, so let's talk about numbers. HSV-1, the cold sore kind, is in about 70% of people. HSV-2, the genital variety, is about 15% of people. Why is it so widespread, you ask? That's because you can spread it before you have symptoms like this. And, and you can be infected with it, never have an initial outbreak of it, but have the latent reservoir inside you. And while normally it just sticks to decorating your face or your genitals, every once in a while it can actually cause things like encephalitis or multi-organ failure. And it is wildly dangerous if you are a pregnant person who has never been exposed and you get exposed while you're pregnant. It's also a great idea not to let grandma, other kids, strangers, smooch or touch a newborn's face. There's more about the face touching thing in the previous video. As always, thanks for learning with me, and if you've got a question, you know what to do. So, I'm gonna have herpes for the rest of my life, huh? Yeah, but most of the time it won't even be an issue. It only really flares up during periods of great stress, like your wedding day or a big job interview. So, what would you say some of your weaknesses are? That, that, that's probably one of them.